facts. We're in the middle of a national crisis, and we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Uh, we have dark clouds on the horizon, and we've made tremendous progress. We've been through hell and back, but this is not over, and this can still rear its ugly head anywhere in this nation uh, and in this state. And we're seeing troubling signs across the country that we should be concerned about. And I am concerned about them. The situation across the country is getting worse. It's not getting better. 35 states now see increasing COVID infection rates. Dr. Fauci, who tends to be a voice of reason, now says he wouldn't be surprised if he sees 100,000 cases a day. All they're doing, all these models are doing, is they're extrapolating from the facts they see today, okay? Uh, that's a very important point to understand. I didn't understand it in the beginning. I thought they were projecting, like a weather forecast. Weather is nice today, but we project it's going to be bad on Friday. That's not what these projections do. They say, given your numbers today, if you just factor out your spread and rate numbers, this is what's going to happen. So they're taking your situation today, and they're saying, by where you are today, this is what's going to happen. So when Dr. Fauci says the death rate could go up to 100,000 per day, he's saying, by the current rate of increase, it could go to 100,000 a day. That, my friends, is frightening. You look at where this country is compared to the European U Union, which is the great irony. They had it first. We got it from them and didn't know it. That's the story of New York. They are now on the decline. We're on the incline. And they have done a travel ban against us. Think about how ironic that is. They had it. They sent it to us. They dealt with it. We're going up higher, and now they ban us. Look at what's going on around this nation. And these are facts. It's not editorial comment. Facts. Texas. Oh, there's no problem. No virus. This is all a democratic delusion. Oh, the cases are going up. That's only because the testing is going up. Really? Then why are more people going into hospitals? People don't go into hospitals unless more people are getting sick. Fact. Arizona. States that were in denial, right? That underestimated the virus. Now, they're all singing a different tune. Now, they're all starting to say, we better take this seriously. We better start wearing masks. They're going backwards on their reopening plan, which is just what we talked about happening. You were in the room many times. I said, if you reopen too fast, what's going to wind up happening is you're going to have to close. And then that's going to be the worst situation. It's going to be the worst for the economy. It's going to be worse for people. And you're going to lose more people in the meantime. That is exactly what is happening. States are now having to roll back their reopening plan. 